He owns the worst properties on Buffalo's most exclusive streets. And now the Buffalo landlord is on the radar of police after not showing up in court today. Tonight, neighbors in Allentown want action against the landlord, who they say refuses to take care of some of his most valuable properties. 7 Eyewitness News I Team Chief Investigator Charlie Speck leads us off tonight. Chuck Dobucky owns what neighbors say are some of the worst properties on Buffalo's best streets. What we all want is somebody to buy them and restore these. It's Allentown and they're still nice houses. Dobucky was due in court Thursday to answer for his decaying houses. But instead of judgment day, the landlord slipped away. This will be Mr. Dobucky's at least third warrant from this court for non-appearance. And the only way I can ensure that he's going to be here is to hold him once he's found. Judge Patrick Carney issued three warrants for DeBucky's arrest after he failed to show for violations on this vacant property on Cottage Street and this empty row house off Main. The fines and the jail time have to be meaningful. And I think it's very sad that this person might end up in jail because in my estimation, there's, a, there's an assessment that needs to be done to see why he is acting the way he's acting, because it defies all logic. If Tabucky is tracked down and arrested, the city is recommending bail be set at $225,000. And Tabucky won't be able to put up his properties as assets to meet that amount. At this point, it could very well be hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines that could be levied. I don't think he could come up with that money, so the houses could be auctioned off. There are buyers waiting. Buyers like David Corey. You know, I've always dreamed of having a double lot. I have two dogs that need room to run around. Just sell them. Just please get these out of his hands. But Judge Carney says his powers are limited. He says the Constitution doesn't allow the government to force someone to sell. Mr. DeBucky's been jailed. He's been fined. I have no other legal remedies other than to refine him or rejail him. But when somebody simply chooses to ignore the penalties, there's nothing else that a court can do. As for DeBucky, he's obviously a hard man to track down these days, and he did not answer the door when we went to his house yesterday, but we are told he could be back in court as early as next week, and we'll keep you posted as his case develops. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness.